Breaking news, an 8.0 earthquake in southern Mexico, yes. and there are tsunami warnings. Yeah. Right, seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones joins us on the phone right now. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Can you hear us okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Yes, I mean, 8.0, significant earthquake. What kind of damage can we expect from an earthquake like this? Well, uh, it, the, what it looks like is that it's, the fault is offshore, so nobody's directly on top of it. That helps reduce the, the shaking level a little bit. It also means the possibility of creating a tsunami. So, um, Good news, bad news on that one. I would expect, especially with older buildings, we're going to see um, um, more damage. Uh, we aren't getting, I've, I'm looking at the USGS website and I don't yet see a, an estimate of shaking distribution. There are some reports that have come in from people feeling it. So far, the maximum that we're seeing on that is intensity seven, which is, uh, a modern building is going to be perfectly fine. An old building at that level can suffer some pretty significant damage. Let's talk a little bit about the warning system there in that area with Guatemala and, and in Mexico. Do you have any information as to how they get word out when it comes to tsunami warnings? Are they able to get people evacuated to higher areas? I, I really don't know. Hmm. Um, I do know in, in some places I've been in South America, I've never been in this region. People are just taught if you feel an earthquake that lasts for a long time, head for high ground. Okay. You know, you really don't want a warning. You shouldn't need a warning. If you feel an earthquake at the magnitude eight, you should just head for high ground. Yeah, well, a tsunami warning has been issued, Dr. Jones, for the next three hours. We're hearing from Mexico, Guatemala, Costa Rica, and El Salvador. How likely are the chances for an aftershock? Oh, uh, the aftershock's certain. I, the question's how big. Uh, usually with an earthquake of, of magnitude 8, you'd expect the largest aftershock to be 6.5 to 7. Oh. So, um, again, it will depend on where it is. If it's well offshore, that's not going to really do really any extra damage. If it's on the down dip end and closer to the coast, uh, then it could cause quite a bit more damage. And we'll just have to wait and see where it shows up. Okay, uh, Doctor, let's talk a little bit about uh, the reason for this earthquake there. Just before that, uh, I do have some information to pass along. We understand right now the tsunami warning is for Acapulco at uh, 1052 tonight, so just about uh, 30 minutes or so for that. And also Cabo San Lucas at 1235 tonight are the warnings going out that they're giving us for this uh, tsunami. But back to the question, Doctor, about what do you know about the fault in that area that possibly created this earthquake? Well, given the focal mechanism, this is almost certainly on the, what's called the subduction interface. Okay. So, you know, plate, plate tectonics driving things around. Uh, the Pacific Ocean, part of the Pacific Ocean is going down underneath the Mexican Peninsula, and this would be on that interface. To be a magnitude 8 and with this focal mechanism really has to be on that. That's why there's a tsunami warning. Uh, that's the type of thing that greatly increases the tsunami risk. Well, obviously a different uh, geographic region there, Dr. Jones, but just to give us some perspective for our viewers as well, can you kind of, uh, you know, if, if hypothetically speaking, if this were to happen near the coast of California, what kinds of damage and, you know, that kind of thing would we, would we be looking at? Okay, we don't have this type mm -hmm. of fault off of California. Uh -huh. We don't have a seduction zone. You have to go up to Cape Mendocino. Uh -huh. Oregon and Washington have this type of uh, fault. Now, the size, just the length of the, the magnitude tells you how long the fault is. This length is going to be at least, well, probably on the order of 200 miles. And that means 200 miles worth of the coastline is right on top of the fault. That's what's going to be so different when we have our big San Andreas earthquake, a 200 mile long fault instead of a 10 mile long fault like produced Northridge. We're going to just see, it's not that it gets so much worse damage, it's that you see it in so many different places. We are talking with Dr. Lucy Jones. She's a Caltech seismologist about this 8.0 magnitude earthquake that happened just moments ago in southern Mexico. There is a tsunami warning for a number of countries there in that area. Uh, just to mention, of course, uh, Guatemala is one of them, Mexico as well, El Salvador. So, Doctor, tell us a little bit about when, when we talk about the subject, the, the zone that you talk about with that plate going up underneath, that would mean that it would, at, at one point in time, to trigger this would get caught and then that would fall and then that is what could possibly cause that tsunami which is the warning that has followed right wow uh, yeah so the you've got the pacific ocean being pushed under mexico but there's friction so it doesn't keep on moving down eventually you push hard enough and overcome the friction 
and the upper plate then bounces up, and that's what displaces the water. I need to hold on. Yeah, this is uh, Dr. Lucy Jones with us from Caltech. Uh, she's a seismologist, and we're just hearing right now that on Mount Wilson, the shaking was felt there even. Uh, the, the seismograph there, we were showing definitely some movement there, and you saw just a little while ago our seismo cam here on KCAL 9. Now, this is an earthquake uh, that we just got word of uh, just before the 10 o'clock hour, and uh, it's an 8.0 magnitude earthquake in uh, south southern Mexico, and it is affecting obviously uh, all the way you know down south to other countries as well. And we are hearing about these uh, possible other repercussions that could yeah. happen after this, and we don't know. How much of you know land uh, this is going to be aff affecting like, buildings say, and yeah. people? Mm -hmm. She did say that it was offshore as mm -hmm. far as the epicenter for the quake. Therefore, that may minimize the damage yeah. on land, but that. Uh, makes for the big issue related yeah. to the tsunami. Mm -hmm. And we have got word uh, that the tsunami warning extends to Acapulco, Mexico, which you see there on your map at 10.52 is the expected time for a tsunami to occur there. Also, Cabo San Lucas, which is a, a little bit uh, farther up to the north of that, is at 12.35, which is farther away from the epicenter. So it makes sense that this is all kind of happening right now as we're getting information. I don't know if, uh, if we still have the doctor, if she put us on hold and had to talk to somebody, but this is all just happening within the last few minutes. Of course, we know just how uh, serious and critical yeah. it is when it comes to earthquakes. Sure, absolutely. And uh, the doctor, Lucy Jones, was telling us that, you know, for people down there, obviously, you saw them on the right side of your screen from an earlier video, right when the earthquake happened. People standing outside their apartment buildings, just, you know, standing outside, not sure of what's going to happen next. Obviously, are there going to be aftershocks? Dr. Lucy Jones says for sure there will be aftershocks. Uh, it just depends on how strong they will be and when they will come, but they will come. And then, as Jeff mentioned, the, uh, the critical, you know, uh, concern with the uh, tsunami warnings, because uh, we, we don't know what's going to happen with those. And right. you see the people standing around there, and uh, she was saying, get to higher ground. That's the best thing you can do right now. And it sounds like to me, I mean, I don't know if they have any formal sort of warning system there, but it sounds like uh, she says, and, and Dr. Lucy Jones, is that people are, are kind of trained there and known that if, if you have that rattling, that shaking, you know that's an earthquake, that you get to higher grounds. Now, uh, just to, uh, to talk a little bit about what Dr. Lucy Jones has told us, but she's also tweeted out some information on social media saying focal mechanism of the Mexican magnitude 8.0 uh, earthquake looks like subduction interface could generate tsunami along Central American coast and that is what we're dealing with right now. And we'll be back with our breaking news here on KCAL 9 News with a strong earthquake that's shaking Mexico.
Thank you.